everyone, so today I've got a slightly different video for you than usual but I wanted to do like a little healthy food slash snack haul for you as I've been trying to eat a little bit better recently and I've found some really great um, snacks that I wanted to share with you guys um, so yeah, okay. and I'll start with crisps Crisps are a massive downfall of mine and um, they're something that I do kind of feel like I need every day, it's really bad um, but I just find that they are actually really filling a bag of crisps, well not really filling but if I want to snack it fills me up more than like a chocolate bar would because a chocolate bar is literally gone in seconds. So I've been looking for some really good crisp alternatives that are slightly better than like your standard Walkers or Monster Munch or whatever. Um, but I have been enjoying them probably just as much, if not more. So I'll get started and I've got um, these lentil chips from the brand called Eat Real. Um, and they also do quinoa chips and also hummus chips. And they're a really big bag, they are 45 grams. And usually like your standard bag of crisps is like 30 grams. And I've only tried the hummus one so far and I love them. They also do them in sea salt flavour and also in the chilli and lemon flavour, which I've got the lentil chips in. And I actually got all of these from Holland and Barrett's. And they are around 85p, which I thought was a really reasonable price considering that like a standard bag of crisps is maybe like 60p, so considering they're more of like a healthier alternative, that's really, really good. Um, so yeah, and also for crisps, I think these are definitely my favourite. Um, and these are hippies. And these are organic chickpea puffs. Um, and they... Obviously this flavour is far out for heater, which is my absolute favourite flavour. Um, I've only tried one of the other flavours. I've also tried In Herbs We Trust, which is really nice as well, but far out for heater is definitely my favourite. Um, and they're 91 calories per pack, and also they're high in fibre and the source of protein. Um, they're more, um, a lot more crunchier than like standard crisps. They're in like the shape of like what sits, but slightly fatter um, and yeah definitely crunchier but they they're so good I think I actually do prefer these to normal crisps like I got these in a boot store um, at London Cannon Street just by London Cannon Street station um, and also I found that they did also have them in Holland and Barrett's but they're 20p more expensive in Holland and Barrett's they're 99p in boots and 119 in Holland and Barrett's. So that's quite a big price difference actually. So Holland and Barrett's sort it out. We also do them in Sweet and Smoking, which I haven't actually tried this flavour yet. And I'm sorry, I left this. I forgot about these ones. And then they also sell them in Pepper Power. And then so I also I have some good alternatives to the naked bars. Obviously, they are quite expensive. I got these in Aldi. Aldi, Aldi, however you say it. Um, and so, I got the Delectable Date and Orange Bars, which is basically like the Cocoa Orange Naked Bars. And these are one forty nine a pack, and you get five in a pack, which is so good considering the price of the Naked Bars. I think they're like £2.50 and you only get three. And then this is what the bars actually look like. Um, they have a few different flavours as well. I also picked up the muesli and the seeds bars. Um, and I've tried them and they're really nice as well. So I just thought they were like a great alternative to like the naked bars. Because I know eating healthy can be so expensive. So I've just tried to find some like good alternatives. And then also from um, Aldi I've got. This um, and these are stupendous cheer and oat crisp breads, flour and sesame seeds on, and their whole grain as well. They're high in fibre, organic, suitable for vegetarians, and no additives. Um, so I thought these are also a good alternative to obviously having some crisps or something. You could maybe just put some peanut butter on one of these, and I feel like that's like quite a good and snack. Also in Aldi, they do these golden fruit and nut pockets. So it's dried fruit and nuts. 
and I think they're something like 32p, something ridiculously cheap. And I just think these are really good for on the go and to be taken on your lunch for work and to, or just like a snack if you've got like a long train journey like I do to work every day. Then they're really good for things like that. They also do a couple of different um, I also got, I put this on my lap and I don't actually have to keep bending down. Um, I got some organic raw chocolate goji berries. Um, these were one forty nine a pack, which I appreciate is quite expensive for this small pack. It contained raw cacao, raw goji berries, coconut palm sugar, virgin cacao butter and cacao butter. Um, so, oh they're also vegan, so they're great for obviously like you vegans out there. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to giving I've popped into Planet Organic in... Um, at the Tottenham Court Road store the other day um, as I was in that area because I was like doing an event for work and I just picked up a couple like, of bits in there and I got these chocolate bars and these are from a brand called Loving Earth and I hadn't heard of this brand before I've heard of On Bar which is like the um, other sort of organic um, chocolate brand but I hadn't heard of these and these are raw organic um, bars and it, this mint one is dark chocolate and it contains 71% cacao with evaporated coconut nectar um, and then this one is raw raw organic raspberry which has cashew milk cashew milk chocolate 44% cacao and 27% cashews with evaporated coconut nectar as well I have such a bad like sugar craving and I love chocolate I'm such a chocolate monster um, so obviously it's better to have one of these than it is to just go and get a Cadbury's bar which is just full of complete shit basically. Um, so yeah, On Bar is also the other brand that does very similar things to this and I know you can get them on Amazon if you don't live near a Planet and Organic. And also in Planet Organic I got this Energize Chia and Vanilla Hemp Protein Bar. And this was really expensive, it was like £1.99. Um, but I just really wanted to give it a try. Um, and this contains dates, cashew nuts, coconut, hemp protein, chia seeds and bourbon vanilla. And it's 100% organic. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to giving this a try. I've been trying to eat things with a lot more protein in because they make you fuller for longer. Um, so, yeah. I'm hoping this is good, one ninety nine. I really hope it doesn't taste like oh. And then I also got in Holland and Barrett these Pip and Nut um, squeeze packs. And I got standard peanut butter, um, coconut almond butter and just standard almond butter. I just thought these are really good for on the go. Um, I absolutely love nut butters. I feel like peanut butter does actually curb my sweet craving. I love putting these on rice cakes um, and things like that. So it's good to, to take on the work, um, take on the work, take to work to have in my bag so that I don't have to carry like a jar with me and I can just pack a couple of rice cakes and then in the afternoon if I'm feeling a bit peckish and I want something a bit sweet um, then I can squeeze these guys and put them on my rice cake. And then also I have, um, this is quite random, it's not a snack, but it's really good so I wanted to share it with you. Um, so Meridian, which is obviously like a nut butter brand, that's kind of what they're famous for, um, they do cooking sauces and I, it wasn't something I was aware of, but I was doing my food shopping in Morrison's and they've got like their free from aisle um, and they had this. And they had the korma and the tikka masala and I've had both and they're absolutely lovely. Both of them are so, so nice. Um, so I have mine with chicken and then I also get like the Uncle Ben's microwave packs um, which have got like the whole grain, the quinoa and the bulgur wheat and stuff like that in. Um, and it just makes for a really, really lovely, um, satisfying dinner. So yeah, I just wanted... Um, to let you know about these basically because I'd never ever heard of them before and obviously they're better than getting an Indian and also better than just getting your standard tinned curried sauce. Curry also, sauce. 
I love green tea. I got into green tea probably maybe like a year, year and a half ago. Um, it was just something that I tried on a whim and I was thinking, oh, I'm probably really going to hate this. But I actually really loved it, which is surprising because not many people do. And I'm actually quite fussy as well. Have one or two cups of green tea a day. I saw this. Um, and this is by a brand called Heath and Heather. And it's organic green tea with Manuka honey in it. And I think they were like one twenty-five half price. Um, so usually they're two fifty for a box of twenty. Um, but these actually are in the penny sale at the moment. So definitely grab some if you can. And then they come in the little pack. They're just so delicious. I was really surprised because to be honest, I'm not a massive honey lover, lover or anything like that. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed um, bars from Perkia. So this one is the cacao and cashew quinoa bar. And this is also vegan. Um, it's a natural source of fibre, protein source, natural source of omega-3, gluten, wheat and dairy free. And I also got these from Morrison's um, down the free from aisle. And I think they're around 70p, which isn't too bad. And this is definitely my favourite. They do a couple of other ones, which um, I think they've got like pumpkin seeds in and ones without cacao. But I absolutely love this bar. It, I mean, it, of course it doesn't taste like a chocolate bar, but it does kind of get, get rid of that craving for me as well. Like I do feel kind of satisfied if I have this. Um, so yeah, I would definitely I know that was a, like a different video for me today, but I really hope you enjoyed it. I know it can be really hard like when you're trying to be healthy and actually trying to find healthy snacks that you do actually enjoy. So I thought I'd put this together for you just so you can see what um I've managed to buy and what I've so yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you know of any great like healthy snacks or alternatives, um, like cheap alternatives to snacks, then please do comment below and let me know because I'd love to know. Um, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I'll see you next week. Bye!